Hi, this is Kim Rapier with Craftism Studios. I'm on the Canvas Core Creative Crew for 2016. Canvas Core brands include Seven Gypsies, Canvas Home Bacon, Basics, and Tattered Angels. Uh, we're doing a YouTube collaboration for June 2016. The theme is Favorite Music, and I've picked Sea of Love by the Honey Drippers, which is a song that I just adore and have for decades. And it lets me play around with um, some, you know, sea themes and water themes, which I love. So what we're going to be doing today is making a card um, using different Canvas Core products. And I'm going to teach you how to make this um, decorative fold, which is based on, or I should say, inspired by uh, something that Split Coast Stampers put out called the Pleated Fold Skirt. But this has um, really different um, uh, fold numbers and things like that. So um, I'll be posting those in my blog uh, that's associated with um, this video. So um, let's get started. The first um, thing, the paper that I'm using to make the fold is uh, Seven Gypsies Maritime Collection, and it's, I don't know how to say this, V-O-I-L-I-E-R. Um, there you go. Uh, so what you do is you cut a piece that is 12 by 2.5. And then you cut it on the diagonal this direction. If you cut the other direction, your waves will go um, to the right. And for the card, I wanted mine to go to the left. So you need to cut in this direction. So um, the basic fold um, or scoring is every 5 eighths of an inch and then every 1 eighth of an inch. And I've done this so that you don't have to watch me score. Um, and you can just, I can just show you how to do the fold. So uh, the first one folds back. And then they just fold up like this, like an accordion. So what you do to make them all kind of stick together like this, which will become important later, is we're going to put a little tiny bit of glue um, on all these small ones these small folds and then you just fold them up and I am just going to stick this um, under um, the mat so it can dry while we're working on other things. So this is the base of the card which I've just folded it in half so that it has a top fold um, and then I scored it at the top. And then this is um, a piece of Maritime 6x6 from the pad. And what we're going to do here is we're going to edge it with Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And this just gives, um, you know, a more layered and finished um, effect. So that's how that would that's how that's gonna look um, and then some of the pieces that I'm gonna put on this are these are ephemera from canvas core brands so this is a crab that I have colored the crab with a mixture of uh, glimmer mist vintage pink and cranberry zing I love both of these and they look great mixed together so what I did on the back of these, because they are white, is um, I did a little bit of Distress Ink Linen, and then um, I'm going to show you um, on these other two. This is Mixed Media Ink um, Color Box. So I'm just going to go like this um, and kind of give them a, you know, some more color around the edges. Okay. 
going. Everything's kind of starting to come together a little bit there. Um, and then one thing I have is uh, some jute from Canvas Core, and um, we'll be doing this at the very end. So let's see if my this is dry enough. So then um, I'm just gonna this flap. I'm just going you don't need very much glue. Do the same thing. And then this end piece you just fold over and layer in the back. And this means that you don't have um, you have nice edges on this. And if there's a little too much, um, you know, you can rip it off because it's the back. So uh, you know the one the important thing here is that you really when you fold it, you really make sure that this fold is um, straight because what we're going to do is we're going to put these together and if the folds aren't straight it'll be noticeable so um, to put these on what you do is halfway up the card I um, drew a line so that I have an idea of where it goes and then I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of glue and I like the glue on this because you can um, move it around a little bit. So you're just going to put it right on that line. And then the same thing with the other one. Put it right on the line. So when you make this, what you have is, you know, you have this little space up here and a little space down here. So my plan is to do this. Um, and we're going to put the jute on to kind of cover all that work. And then we're going to put this here. So first I want to um, attach it to the card. If you... Doesn't require a lot of glue. So that's the beginning. Um, and then just put a little bit of glue along the middle here. And I'm just cutting this little piece I have into three. I'll line those in there. Wiping off a little bit of the extra glue. If you don't use that much glue, it'll um, dry pretty fast. So I'm just, again, using a little bit, we're going to do Bon Voyage. So that covers up the work and it creates some dimension. And I'm just gluing a little bit of the corner because um, that'll let this sort of be naturally up and do whatever it wants, which I like. And again, do this corner that goes underneath. I'm going to trim the the, um, the ends here, and I don't want them to all be the same, so I'll trim them separately. And then the last part of this, which really gives the card a lot of dimension, is to fold, kind of roll all these back a little bit. Starting down, you know, you want to um, 
roll from the base as much as you can. So there you have um, my card with my with that that decorative uh, folding pattern that I that we talked about. And I like I said, I'll put the dimensions um, on my blog. Um, so thank you for joining me, and I hope that you go and check out all the other collaborators this month. Thank you. for watching and joining us on this video collaboration. Um, for our theme of favorite music, I went ahead and I used some sheet music and I put together this wreath for our front door. So I'm hoping you'll come over to my channel and just watch how I put it together. Hello, Yasmina. I'm a member of the Canva Corp Bronze Creative Crew and I'm very happy to make this second Canva Corp collaboration with my friends. See you later on my YouTube channel. Bye!